I am purpose driven. It's not personal. It's purpose. When you see me, there is deeper than what meets the eye. There is a soul, a spirit, a divine purpose. Join me Thursdays at 10 a.m. Finding Happy on UNE Radio. Thursdays at 10 a.m. What is that sound? Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. This is Coach Raquel for Finding Happy. And of course, this Let's Talk and, let's walk and Talk. <laughs> so I'm actually on the treadmill right now. I'm about to start walking. And um, just as I started walking, it's like these messages started running through my mind. And I thought, let me share my thoughts. Let me, let me speak it out loud. <laughs> And trust nature with it, trust the universe, trust God, my creator, my maker um, with it. And so I commit this show in his, in, in thy hands, Lord, um, my creator, my God. Um, Coach Raquel, of course. And today, you know what I'm going to be talking about is faithing it or faking it. Um, everyone has hard. Everyone has hard times. Everyone has their own seasons that they have to go through. So it's not just one set of people who have it difficult in this life or have faced challenges. Um, everyone goes through their own versions of it. And so today I just want to talk about that. And I want to talk about whether we're faithing it or faking it. And all of us are doing both at, at different times, perhaps, but we're all either operating on faith or we're faking it through. <laughs> That's what I feel anyway. So let's, let's get into this uh, conversation. Um, it's such a beautiful day before I start. Beautiful day. I'm so thankful, so humbled, so grateful. I'm absolutely grateful because there are so many people who woke up this morning in pain that they cannot control, having facing challenges that they wish they didn't have to. Oh, glory. And I didn't have to, at least not that I'm aware of yet. <laughs> So I, I want to say thanks to the universe, my God, my creator, um, the maker of this world. I am just so very thankful, very, very thankful um, for this beautiful morning. The sunrise is out. Oh, glory. It's beautiful, beautiful. So sometimes I think as I listen to the crowd and I listen to people speak and I... Um, watch the world go through its process. I think sometimes when we get into hard times or when we're going through our challenges, we sometimes wonder, am I the only one going through this? Is anyone else out there facing these kind of challenges? Because my pain just feel like the worst pain ever been there. I remember for two weeks, once I couldn't leave my bed, I was curled up in my bed, 
crying and praying. I was praying for a particular person, didn't understand why. But I, I was in this, I couldn't stop praying and crying. I was wailing as though, as though I was praying for somebody, somebody's life, for them not to die. Like it was, well, I literally was praying for that. But it was a strange thing that happened to me. And I thought I must have been in depression. I thought I must have been going crazy. This is not someone who is necessarily that close to me, you know? Um, so I didn't quite understand. But you know, sometimes we may not understand the experience we're having. And I do believe that sometimes the challenges, the hard times we're having is for more than ourselves. I think sometimes we hurt for somebody else. I think sometimes the challenges we face is not just because of us, but that we're being used for it. And so I think it's important for us to remember that hard challenge, difficult times comes to everyone. It doesn't matter what your wealth bracket is. It doesn't matter what your social circles are. It doesn't matter what your education or your degrees. It doesn't matter what those levels are. Every person has their period of difficult. And I believe that, <laughs> I believe that we can regulate it or regulate ourselves to manage those processes. And to do so, we mind manage one, but also we um, walk in truth. And truth is a hard thing. Truth is <laughs> facing to what is real. Um, I feel like words fail me sometimes. Um, when I say truth, I'm not talking about honesty. I'm not talking about what the world tells us to believe. I'm talking about what you know in your soul to be true. Yeah? To be your truth. The truth of, that you can see and, and, and um, perceive in the world based on your understanding. Yeah, I think we can, if we walk in truth, it may be difficult in doing so, but I think it saves us from unexpected difficulty, which comes later. And for some persons, they say, you can take it easy now and suffer later or do it hard now and have it easier later. But I say, it's really facing the truth of something and walking in it and putting the action towards it that oftentimes is difficult. I don't think it's so much the situations, it's how we manage and regulate, how we manage a situation, how we regulate ourselves through the situation. So, but the, the worst I think we do or we can do is to, when something feels or seems difficult, to just give in because it's easier or to harbor the thoughts or the, the concepts that you're the only one going through those difficult times because we all, we all have those spurs of difficulty, those moments, those days, those years sometimes of just challenges, right? And for me, See, I like to talk about my life because I don't like to assume about other people's lives. Um, but if, we, if I share my story and we connect, then I get inspired and hopefully you do too. In my life, what I have learned to do um, is to, well, what I realized I was doing is either faking it or faking it, or sometimes even fighting it. There are times when I was going through something, going through things, because I, I had a very, what people would consider a challenging life growing up. As a kid, I didn't know that. <laughs> but looking back, I cry for that girl sometimes. But um, what I learned over my 40 years, I realized that the things I went through, I was either having faith as I went through it, or I was faking, and by faking I mean doing my best to, to get through it by whatever means necessary. 
not necessarily having faith about it, but feeling as though I'm on my own, I gotta figure this out, you know, and trying to come up with the answers. And that's what I mean when I say faking it, because I was faking it. I, was, I had no capacity to save myself, to help myself too. I mean, I did the work towards it and hope that what I was doing worked. And then I also tried to see what other peop people did that helped them get through it and try to apply it. But I have learned, if there's one thing I've learned, is that every day is a new day. And every challenge is a new challenge. We can choose to see it with past information or we can choose to see it as it is. You know, because when we see something as a challenge and we say, oh, I've seen this before. Not really, we've never seen it before. However, based on memory, we are defining it based on something that's familiar. And I think sometimes that's the biggest mistake we make with new challenges, is to apply all definitions to them. Because then you feel like something is repeating itself in your life, but it's really your definitions that are being repeated and regurgitated. So what I've learned is when something happens, is to cultivate, cultivate and enact faith, activate faith, yeah? Believe. First of all, I, I, I've gotten to a place where I say to myself, who says this shouldn't be happening to me right now? Why do I think this shouldn't be happening to me? Hmm? I've been asking the universe for things. I've been asking my God for things. I have to break for breakthrough. So how do I know that what is happening to me in this moment, though difficult, though challenging, huh, though mind bending, shouldn't be happening? How do I know that this difficulty that I'm facing, this hard of mine, isn't going to propel me to some amazing goodness and I just have to have faith, yes? So I've learned that come what may, whatever is happening to me, I already have faith, you have faith, yes? As long as you wake up every single morning, you have faith because you opened your eyes. You opened your eyes because you had faith that it was a new day, that you're alive, that you can get about, that you can move. You have faith that you can breathe. So you do have faith, yes? And in those moments when something new has come upon us, when we're getting through, we're heading towards breakthroughs and we're in that, in that fog called the unknown, I guess it's in those moments, well, in those moments for me, is when I am faking it because I'm trying to figure it out. Because I'm trying to figure it out, yeah? So I end up guessing and testing and you know what I mean? You're checking to make sure, does this work, would that work? Would this work? Would that over there work? That's me faking it. So I believe that we we're doing one of two things all the time, faithing it or faking it. What I wanna ask God to do, the universe, my creator to do, is to increase my faith, is to increase your faith. So in more of our difficult, hard times, we can, have, we can find faith that we've stored up to help us to faith it through instead of having to fake it through. Yes? So this morning as I'm here walking on this treadmill, faithing it, <laughs> I am faithing it. I'm believing I can do this. I am trusting that my body will not fail me. My legs won't fail me. Even though my throat feels like it's failing me, I'm trusting that I can do this. I am having faith. If I were to fake it, I would stand here telling you, oh my God, I can't do this. I think I'm trying to, you know, struggling, struggling. When we're struggling is when we're faking it. When we're trying to convince ourselves that either we shouldn't have been going through this or we can handle this on our own or I don't have to believe in this or that because I can do this, but we're not really doing it, we're struggling. What if we try to have faith? Faith not just in the maker, the creator, not just, but also faith in other people. Faith in yourself, faith in your family, faith in your friends. Hmm? How about trying 
let faith fail you instead of being fake. How about that, huh? That's the decision I've taken. I would rather to fail because I'd rather fail while having faith than fail while faking to be okay. Well, than failing while faking that I know what I'm doing, that I have the answers. I ain't got no answers. All I have is questions. The more I learn, the more questions I have. The more questions I have. So this morning, I just wanted to share with you that you're not alone and don't think when you're going through challenges and hard times that you're the only one going through it. We all have that hard. Hard is for everyone. Difficult is for everyone. But those difficulties help us to grow, help us to achieve the things we're praying for and the, the things that we're desiring and wanting. Because hard is breaking. We, we break from where we are to become new for where we're going, right? Your greatness is in your brokenness. So today, I just want to share with you, have faith. I have to have faith. I am having faith in me. I am having faith in my creator. I'm having faith in my purpose. I'm learning to have faith in people. I've got to have faith because without faith, without faith, I'm only faking it. And faking it will make the hard far. Here are four tips that can help you increase your energy and mood. At least I believe they will because they have improved mine. And number one, get closer to the creator. Get closer to the God of your understanding, your maker, the creator. Number two, prioritize your best interest. This doesn't mean you're selfish. But if you don't prioritize yourself, it's going to be difficult for you to prioritize somebody else. You really, truly do that. Yes, you may think you are, right? But you ought to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So self-love must first be mastered for you to be able to effectively love someone else. So prioritize your best interest. That's number two. And number three, live your truth no matter the consequences. You have, to, you have the right to be you. You have the right to walk in your own truth as you understand life. Yes? So live your truth no matter the consequences. That, this does not mean that you don't apply wisdom and that you don't um, consider outcomes. But with wisdom, you'll be able to navigate your truths 
right, in various circumstances. Just make sure you're honoring self is what I'm saying. Honor you. Yes? So live your truth no matter the consequences. And the final one, number four, spend time with people who make you feel valued. Mm. You need to be around people who when you're around them, you fall in love with yourself. You just feel good. You know, you, you feel better about yourself as you spend time with them. So those are the four tips that I believe, well, they have helped me increase my energy and my mood, and I think they can also help you increase your energy and mood. One, get closer to the creator. Number two, prioritize your best interest. Number three, live your truth no matter the consequences. And number four, spend time with people who make you For more from Coach Wrights, visit walkingindivinepurpose.com.